I can say this now. Okay, I think I can. So, 6 9 was supposed to be in the fight. He was supposed to walk out Bryce Hall. Okay? What happened is, and I don't know if it's because other rappers are going to be there, because he performed at the Hard Rock at Triller Fest like a month ago. Bryce Hall specifically, is that guy's huge on TikTok. He got like 22 million followers. He said he wants 6 9 to go. He wants 6 9 to walk him out. Now, this is after I invited 6 9 to the, to, to the shit because I had tickets and I was going to go. So I'm like, I'm going to Florida and I'm going to go to that fight. I wanted to watch a fight. When I was telling 6 9 to go, I'm like, yo, I could probably get you like all type of tickets. You could come with people. Like, yo, let's just kick it at a fight or some shit. You know what I mean? Bring all the security, whatever. Fuck it, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Just, like, bro, outside, right? Um, He gets called and salute to, salute, salute to Murphy and a couple of the people and Sway Lee's manager and shit like that. A couple of people coordinated. Bryce Hall, when asked who he wants to walk him to the ring, he says he wants Takashi 6 9 Now, Austin McBroom was the other person from YouTube. He wanted Lil Baby. Now, the secure Lil Baby, and by the way, salute to P. Me and P was topping it up for a long while there. Um, salute to Coach K as well. I met baby son, you know, um, uh, he was a cool dude. He didn't know who I was, was, though. I was like, damn. He probably know a young boy, you know what I mean? But anyway, cool. So, um, um, he was supposed to come. All of a sudden, one production and a lot of people who probably just did a Google search about him, and that's the thing about being like a gangster, I always tell people, when you're a gangster always in shootouts, people don't like you in their venues. They literally came back and said, yo, like, there were so many people excited that 6 9 was going to be there, and it, it instantly turned to insurance won't cover the venue if he's there at all. So 6 9 was about to go to, like, I forgot, he was about to go to UFC shit, some other shit. Gets ready to go to the shit. He gets told last minute that he can't go because insurance is going to, like, not cover the shit. Now, who doesn't want him to come? It wasn't even the event. Definitely not the fighter. The fighter wanted him to walk him out. Production really didn't have a say. It was the Hard Rock Stadium. And if you ask me, I think they were thinking Trippy performed earlier that night. And there was other rappers. They were probably saying, we don't know if these niggas are cool with you. We're not doing it. It's probably mostly because of Trippy. I ain't gonna lie. Anyway. They were still trying to finesse it, still trying to finesse it, still trying to finesse it. Then literally, the news came down that the Hard Rock hired 30 extra security and was circulating pictures of 6 9 to say if he comes in the venue at all, arrest him. So fuck him performing and bringing out the, the, the guy. Which, honestly, he was super frustrated by it because he's like, yo, bro, I'm not, like, I'll only be in the venue just to perform. Like, I'm not trying to do no type of violence, no type of this. But these venues, his past definitely is haunting him. You get me? Okay, cool. Um, so he didn't walk him out. So if you notice, Austin McBroom had, uh, he had a little baby walk him out. And Bryce Hall, because 6 9 was not allowed, and they banned him pretty much a couple hours before the show, he walked out to Pop Smoke. It was like, yo, many men. Push the no mom. Yeah, it was that one. Um, many, many, many. Yeah, that was a dope song. Anyway, walks out to that song. And um after that, my actual thoughts on the fight, <coughs> I thought Bryce Hall was gonna win. Why? I'm a shit talker by nature. I always root for the shit talkers. I hope the shit talkers could back up their shit talking that the shit talking could be even bigger. Who has done that before, Floyd? Adrian Broner did it for a while. People love the arrogant motherfucker when he backs it up. And even the people who hate him, they still watch and they still tune in. And um, essentially what happened 
I watched the fight, and Bryce Hall got his ass kicked. It looked like he was working on talking all that shit, but never throwing them hands. And it's unfortunate that that happened, but I really thought he was going to beat the Austin McBroom's nigga's ass. Now, I got to be honest. Overall, with all the fights, W's. Those fights were W's. The fact that niggas is bleeding, W. For the main event, you know, uh, um, Austin got the other dude bloody, uh, Bryce. Um, DDG fight was good. Deji was disappointing. Um, the other fights were kind of cool, too. I will say this. What was I going to say? I forgot. The, the phase guy worked his opponent. Yeah. From what I heard, both fighters got $5 million each. So both fighters, before pay-per-view, got $5 million. That was their fee. I'm only talking about the main event. And it led me to think, what amount of money gets me in the ring? And I think a million, a million and a half. I'm in there. A million, a million and a half. Like, truth be told, there was no fight that went down like Nate, where like somebody's got knocked the fuck out. Even though Bryce kind of got knocked down, but like that was controversial too. I think his bloody nose was more than indictment. How much money do you think I should fight for? <clears throat> and by the way, I've always said, shit, I'll box Meek Mill. How much money do you think I'll get for boxing Meek Mill? Somebody said, who am I going to fight? Anybody. The fuck? It depends on the money. Anytime.